Alright artist, in this video I'm going to guide you through drawing a Chinese dragon. So we are going to um, start with a white piece of paper and then you can use any color media that you would like. So crayons, markers are in our toolboxes, but if you have other materials at home, as always, um, if it is okay with your grown-ups, then you could paint it, you could use oil pastels, or any other color material that you want. I'm going to use markers to get started because I know that everyone should have those because they were in our toolbox. So we're going to start, hold your paper side to side, and we are going to make almost like an S curve. So a regular S would look like that. We're going to do it from one corner kind of to the other and yours might have multiple lines. We need to leave space at both ends because our dragon is going to have a head and a tail. So leaving some space and creating a wavy line. Now I don't have a ton of space up here for a head. I have more room over here. The head's gonna be a little bit bigger than the tail. We're going to start by making a triangle for the head Oh, I made my head pretty big. And another triangle for the tail. It does not matter if your head is at the top or the bottom or the side. We're just going to start by using triangles for heads and tails. Now this doesn't look like a dragon just yet. So to start to look like a dragon, I'm gonna give it some ears. Also nice long rectangles. You could choose to give it some horns. So some curved lines for horns. Um, you might choose to give it, whoop, now mine's gonna run off the paper, that's okay. This is kinda like it's nostrils here. And we need to give him some eyes. So as always, your eyes can look however you want. I'm gonna give mine some great big circle eyes. And right now I'm just doing the outline other than the pupils. You could give your dragon eyelashes if you wanted to. You could give him um, actual, whoop, openings in his nostrils. You could have maybe some steam coming out from those nostrils or you could even give him some fun whiskers. And if I run off the page that's okay. It's like a snapshot. That's called a snapshot view where part of your picture gets cut off and that is okay. All right so now we need to give our dragon more of a body. So there's different ways you could do that, but we're using this kind of as the dragon's spine. And so from there, I could, I'm gonna leave some space between that spine and where I start my line. I'm gonna start over here so you can see it better. And I'm going to make some zigzags or the top two sides of an A or a triangle. Now this is gonna connect up here. It's just a little more difficult to start because you're gonna run into things. Whoop. So it would have been difficult to start there. So I just started somewhere where I had room to show you the whole triangle. So my inside, the part that's closest to the spine, I still leave some space and then come back out and then back in, back out, back in, right? He's curvy, so there's parts where my zigzag line is gonna be fatter and thinner. That's just one side. I need to do the same thing on the other side. So in and out and in and out. Zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig. You get the idea. Zig, zag, zig, zag, zig. Now his face would be over his body, so I'm going to imaginary line into there, zag back out, but I didn't actually drag my marker. That's called overlapping. So this is going to overlap.
overlap in here as well. There's a lot of overlapping up by his head because he has lots of other details there. All right, it is starting to look like a dragon. From here, um, the rest is up to you as far as do you want to involve a pattern in here? Do you want him to be mostly one color with maybe a different colored head and tail? Do you want a green or purple dragon? Those are most common, sometimes red. Or do you want a rainbow dragon? You can certainly come in here and put another shape or detail, right? That would give you more spaces to color in. All right, mine's starting to look pretty cool, I think. I am excited to decide on some colors to color him in and really make it my own. I cannot wait to see your dragon creations. Maybe if as far as you get is a drawing, that's fine. Um, of course, if you have time, my goal would be for us to get these uh, colored in as well, to have nice, finished, colorful dragons. Thank you for making art with me today.